Now let's look at another voting method. Three candidates, A, B, and C, are running for mayor of a small town. The results of the election are shown in the following preference table. This time we want to determine the winner using the plurality with elimination method. Now this requires us to know what a majority would be. So we're going to begin by adding up the total number of votes in order to determine that. That's going to give us 1,200 plus 1,800, which would be 3,000 plus 600, to give us a total number of votes of 3,600. We'll divide that by 2 to come up with 1,800. In order to have a majority, we're going to have to have more than 1,800 votes for any particular candidate. So that's what we'll be looking for. Now, let's start off by figuring out the number of first place votes. We'll begin with candidate A. Candidate A will have first place votes only from this first column, and that would be 1,200 votes. Candidate B has first place vote, votes in the third and the fourth column. So we're going to add together the 900 and the 600 votes to give candidate B 1,500 votes. Candidate C has a first choice set up in the second column where we're going to have 900 votes. Now, candidate B has the most number of votes, but notice that this is not going to be a majority. And notice that candidate C has the least number of votes. Now let's rewrite the table without C. We're going to look at the same columns. We're going to list, however, only first and second place as we won't have C in the result. So we're going to still have the 1,200, 900, 900, and 600. This time, eliminating C means we're going to write down just the A and the B in each column. We want to make sure we keep it in the order that would be given here. In other words, A is above B. So we'll have A above B. In the next column, notice that B is ranked above A. And in our last column, B is ranked above A. So now let's tally up the number of first place votes. Let's start with candidate A. Candidate A is going to have, from the first column, 1,200 votes. From the second column, 900 votes, giving candidate A a total of 2,100 votes. Now we could actually stop here, as we note that 2,100 is greater than 1,800 and therefore is a majority. If you want to go ahead and figure out the number of first place votes for B, we can by just adding together the 900 and the 600 from our last two columns. And now it's very clear, because of the comparison, that A is going to be the winner.